The product featured in this video was received free of charge for the purpose of review. However, I've not been paid to make this video and all opinions remain my own. Thanks to Creality for sending this sample out to take a look at. In my previous video where I reviewed the Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer, I was a bit disappointed that there was no touch screen on the control panel. However, now there is a solution. Let me introduce you to the Creality Sonic Pad. I'm Matt, this is Model Minutes, and join me in this video as I take a look at this new product. So, starting off, the product comes packaged in a really nice box. Everything sort of put into its own little trays to help keep it nice and safe. What you get inside the box is a power supply and a variety of different plugs. Naturally, I'm going to need the three pronged one because I'm in the UK. You also get a bag of bits, including some adapters for your USB cables and a memory stick. You get a USB cable and a cable for a sensor. And then there is the Sonic Pad itself, and not forgetting a set of instructions, which are a little difficult to follow at times, but it can be done. So the Sonic Pad then, it has a slightly plasticky feel, but there is a good weight to it, and there are loads of different plugs in the back. It even comes with these fold out feet, which is super helpful. So getting started, I decided to plug in all the wires that go into the back of the Sonic Pad. There is a cable there for a sensor. I'm not entirely sure what the sensor does and I haven't actually installed it on my machine yet, but in the future I probably will. But the USB cable goes to your machine and I did actually have to use one of the little adapters to make sure that it plugged in correctly because the end of the USB cable wasn't appropriate. So you turn on your sonic pad and it should bring you to the boot menu there are some little setup parts that you're going to have to do before you can get printing with this device after agreeing to the terms and conditions and connecting it to the wi-fi i could then progress with setting up the printer annoyingly though because i'm using an ender 3s1 i have to actually take the bottom of the printer off to find out which chip i have this was a 20 minute job which i could have done without doing and if i'm honest putting a sticker on the front or even on the bottom to tell you which kind of chip you have would be a better way of doing it rather than having to dismantle your printer but anyways after having found out what the version of my printer was i did up the bottom and inputted that into the machine correctly selecting the right one. I could then put the firmware onto the memory card and put the memory card into the machine. This sort of updates your printer and allows it to connect to the Sonic pad. And once that was done, I was ready to print. Well, almost. First up, we've got to actually make sure that everything is working correctly and calibrated. But to be honest, it seems to calibrate much quicker now than it did before using just the internal hardware. The Creality Sonic Pad uses a type of software called Clipper, which I'm led to believe makes your printing a little bit more accurate and quicker on the whole. And I can actually say that once I started printing, I did notice that it did tend to move around a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently. At the moment though, I can't categorically say that I've noticed a, an improved quality with my printing. But seeing as I am still quite new to printing, I'm still figuring a lot of this out. There are loads of features on this Sonic Pad, which I haven't even delved into yet. So you've got your Wi-Fi connectability. I think you can print things from the cloud and you can even connect cameras to it and it can film your print as it's happening. And like I said earlier, there is a sensor on there and I think it does something with like resonances and adjust the printing for that, but I haven't yet installed that because I can't quite figure out where it goes. So if you know, let me know down in the comment. What I do like about this new Sonic Pad, however, is that it's quite easy to use and it actually allows you to adjust things during the printing process much more easily than when you were using the small little dial and readout on the actual machine. So if you want to lower the print nozzle height, for example, it's really easy to do a literally a press of a button. Additionally, getting it preheated and things is quite easy as well because you just tap the option that you want. Whereas on the original display, you had to scroll through a number of different options before you got to the one that you wanted. 
But anyways, I think it's probably time now to wrap this one up. The Creality Sonic Pad that I've received seems to make this printer considerably better. The printing seems more efficient and it makes it much easier to do. Setting it up was a little bit of a hassle, but once you've done it, it's then done. In the future, I'm hoping to be able to explore more of the features, including the Wi-Fi, possibly the cameras and figuring out where that sensor goes. But anyways, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know down in the comments if you found it helpful and if you'd be tempted to get one of these for yourself. Quick shout out to my patrons and channel members for the extra support they give my channel. A massive thanks to these guys on screen. If you'd like to find out more about how you can join them, take a look at the links in the description. Additionally, whilst you're underneath the video, subbing to the channel and dropping a like would be greatly appreciated. Finally, all that's left to say is a massive thank you to you for watching this one, and I'll see you on the workbench again next time.